okay guys welcome everyone I, in this video I'll speak directly uh, uh, today I'm going to share one of the most important thing you should be do this uh, things inside your computer after installation Windows or after you have a fresh copy of Windows like this so this is the best procedure after Windows installation to set your backup system many so you will feel very right very very comfort way of having this try uh, having this solution for backups because it's a very big headache for people or uh, anyone be after windows installation directly so uh, he always lose his data if system crashes so he will uh, be in problem so you will go to administrator to he will recover your files very very big headache especially in in case of your system already for your system full damaged by viruses or any bad things happen to your uh, windows okay so many people uh, will uh, feel trust to this way the way from a the very very second the very first second of windows installation you always keep a backup of your all of your system in this uh, audio system for your documents for your downloads for your even your desktop will be at the safe location or at the safe side at the safe site in your computer so you will feel very comfort whatever circumstance will happen to your uh, operating system so you your files all your files will be in a safe location okay let's do uh, my theory or my way for today is only uh, changing the default location for every one every uh, for desktop this is a very critical and sensitive area desktop and documents uh, this one documents because all Microsoft Word Excel uh, file PowerPoint files will be saved here inside these documents and also your desktop this current sometimes you forget some files here very important then system crashes so you will be in a very big problem in your desktop and also your downloads okay downloads also if you download anything it will be stored inside this folder so you will be able to access this files again after windows crashes by the way you will learn from the lesson for today so the my way is to change the the default location for these downloads and pictures and my music like this so let's uh, let's check it from the properties for this one if available to change the default location from here better than go in deep okay so it's very easy now to change the location for desktop and downloads and documents and all the, these uh, things also video music if you download some music uh, mp3 so our lesson for today was to change the default location for these documents and we will move all of these contents inside my desktop to another location in partition uh, in another partition right okay this is the first a thing we will do so try to apply this one right now try to create in another partition like uh, for this one for data okay data we will create here a new folder let's create a new folder here right click new folder let's name this folder to be at the first uh, the first folder in the in this quote uh, dot underscore I'll uh, name it VIP okay I name my my documents I want to store all of my documents inside dot underscore VIP why I I put this underscore dot and underscore because if I make refresh it will be at the top of the screen so it will be easy easy to access this file folder anytime okay and also I always I always give a shape to my folder to avoid the searching so I will go directly to the any iconic uh, folder it will facilitate my work this is all my files actually this is my files but this is a new fresh copy really it's really uh, uh, my original windows is another windows inside this computer I already installed here this windows my original windows but this is a fresh copy of windows I already installed to show you what is the what what can what all the precaution we can take against any lo data loss from my computer so our uh, lesson for today is to change the location for all things inside so I already created a new folder here inside the, the data data partition this I called I named this folder new folder with VIP this VIP will include all our important files we already caring too much 
uh, after installation from the first day from the day zero for the windows installation you have to take a take a backup this backup will be is a real time backup not uh, after uh, because the minimum taking backup for inside the file history inside windows it's uh, approximately 10 minutes this is the minimum and also it can take up to maybe two years this backup will be uh, will be taken and or uh, it will keep kept in your computer up to two, year, two years okay but now i want to take it as a real time backup even if you small modification like this new folder it will be saved directly you know this is what i mean exactly in this video okay to take everything as a backup in a real time you are uh, working in your windows right so we already create a folder the this is the, this folder will be that uh, the main storage for our sensitive data data in in our computer right let's go inside my computer let's go to this desktop first we will change the, the desktop location to uh, to change the default location let's uh, go to properties uh, inside this properties we will uh, change location we will choose the location tab inside this we will uh, press move inside this move we will move it to uh, open the partition C uh, let's go to the backup folder we created uh, recently this VIP I'll uh, make it inside so I'll create the same name desktop so I'll create a new folder uh, and I'll name it desktop okay desktop then I'll open this desktop then I'll press select folder so now the new location for the my desktop right now will be changed up to uh, to the the new location i already specified right now to be in a vip folder i created there okay so he's asking me to move every items you created in the desktop to this folder i'll say yes okay then he already take the take the action and already applied okay then also the the second very important uh, area in your system is downloads because it's already included all files you already downloaded from the internet so we need to change the default location for that to be in another location in a safe location okay so we'll go to the location from location we will click move so we will change the same the same as before to our vip files so we create a new folder we will name it the same down loads okay inside this downloads i'll click double click to enter inside then select folder so now the new location will be in downloads so apply he asking me to confirm the this action so i'll say yes okay okay then the third one is very important one for your documents microsoft word microsoft excel so microsoft uh, powerpoints all pdf files all will be stored in a default location in the in this documents so i'll change location for this for that one to location uh, move inside this one i'll go to inside the folder we created recently this one i'll create a new folder i name it documents documents okay inside these documents i'll click double click then i'll select folder so i'll apply he will ask me to confirm this action so i'll uh, confirm then also you can do the same for your pictures if you take a screenshot uh, it will be saved in uh, pictures now this desktop windows desktop now not belongs to windows no longer belongs to windows now right now okay now the, your desktop already saved in another location <coughs> and also safe safe location okay this is safe location against any crashes happen to your system so your data files will be in a safe location already stored there for example if you want to ensure i am uh, talking right or not let's open the new folder new location for our uh, and this is desktop okay let's create a new folder in the desktop here or there to see, to confirm this is the new location for in partition f okay not partition c because our windows now the uh, windows now is partition c it's this is the, the default uh, partition for uh, windows now the new location for desktop is another location so if you create for example i'll create a new new text file for example see it's already created there if a new new folder in my desktop now okay 
so it's already created there where is this there it's already in the partition f in vip folder we created so every file so let's go again inside the documents you already create a new text here in the documents so if you go there inside the documents go up documents you will see what we created here so you will not use you will not feel any 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 uh, new changes in, uh, happen to your system you will feel it's normal normal using so you will open your computer you will open downloads you will find downloads uh, already exists also your desktop uh, the same for documents the music everything you will access you will not feeling the new changes happen to your system but you know now you already now have a, a backup uh, in a real time whatever you will do in your desktop or in your documents or your downloads will be saved in a safe location even if your system already crashes or formatted okay even if your uh, your uh, location is uh, already uh, your windows already da damaged or uh, you cannot ca recover this windows again so the same things will happen to uh, your file will be in a safe location so you'll be able to access it from any windows so now we have a safe location add on we have add uh, small uh, things i'll add more things more good and useful things to protect the new location for our files see in in this uh, windows defender inside this windows defender we will order we will configure windows defender to enable ransomware protection to protect these files uh, downloads files and uh, our documents and also the desktop uh, from the ransomware uh, viruses so how to enable this one so if you open this double click for uh, windows defender so we'll go there inside this shield protection shield inside this shield let's go down this is ransomware protection the, the default status for this uh, ransomware protection is always off let's go and manage manage see this is a default value i don't know why microsoft didn't activate this one during update during updates uh, to the users i don't know but it should be activated because it's a very very good and safe for all people using uh, especially nowadays the ransomware uh, viruses is very famous and commonly commonly you, you can hear about some uh, uh, files already infected some people already lost all their data because of this ransomware pro uh, viruses so you have to enable this ransomware protection inside your windows because this is the best procedure you can take when you activate when you activate this ransomware protection let's go there inside this ransomware you will find the all the new location folder we created already already under the see the new location for documents and also the new location for picture already included inside and already uh, this videos inside partition f and the other one music and the desktop this is for partition this is desktop for uh, the new location this is the default location in the inside the ransomware this is a default but it's a new location already under the protection for windows defender so now now we are not even uh, taking uh, the action to make a new to create a new safe location for our uh, documents but we created also a uh, security enable security against ransomware to unauthorized access to these files we already created in another partition uh, right now the, so thanks for watching and uh, i hope you enjoy that i hope to apply that as fast as possible before anything uh, happen to your system so it will be too late to discover that you should you should take this action uh, before any crashes happen to your computer i hope you enjoy that really uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope you subscribe and share this video as possible to make uh, people take the advantage of this video uh, goodbye right now and have a nice time